morning guys and uh, welcome back to another video. So today we're doing a bit of topping and um, we're in a bit of land that's got some solar panels on it. So uh, what I thought we'd do is have a, a bit of a chat about energy in general, um, like renewable energies on farms versus actually growing food. So it'd be interesting to see what people think of it. So um, like for example here they've taken out fair amount of land uh, to put in three rows of solar panels but back home where I am they've taken out fields um, and like there's huge solar panels so there's an argument there of obviously for the farmer they're probably making or the landowner they're making more money um, than they would do growing winter barley beans etc like that um, just by putting you know solar panels on a bad bit of, of the field so um, on the other hand, it's then taking away land that could be used for food, um, regardless of the quality of the land, you'd still get some produce of it, off it rather. So, um, yeah, I mean, other things, I, I worked on a farm that had an AD plant, so again, they were growing loads of maize to, to kind of chuck in onto this farm um, AD plant. So, uh, all the poultry manure went in there, which is fair enough as well. Uh, but the maize went in there, so they were growing constantly, you know, two years worth of maize in the same field, which apparently is not doing much good for the soil either. Um, I think it depletes it quite heavily of nutrients. Um, I know in, I'm pretty sure it's in Germany, they've really, they're really struggling now because they're just growing constant maize for the, uh, for the AD units out there, and they're quite common out there, um, and so I've heard. But that would be somewhere I'd like to go at some point for sure, go and see what, what farming's like in Germany and Holland. Uh, I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so they were growing loads of maize and obviously taking wheat and, uh, and barley, mostly rape, out of the rotation, um, or leaving like longer gaps in between growing them. So um, just the thought of obviously the, the world's population is kind of growing. Um, just to see what you guys think of energy crops and, and solar panels and uh, AD plants and stuff like that in general. Whether you think it's a good idea, whether you think it's a bad idea. The other argument is we need to become more environmentally friendly. So the likes of solar panels um, to produce electricity and things like that are helping the environment. And things like this, obviously that's, for, that's pheasant cover or partridge cover. Um, but it's helping the diversity that's on the on the farm, uh, kind of nature and wildlife-wise, both plants and animals. Um, but yeah, I mean other things. I know a lot of farmers are putting in something called miscanthus, or I think it's also called elephant grass. And once you put it in, it's kind of there for for ten years. Um, it's quite an interesting crop. You. This is off the top of my head, but for the first two or three years, you don't get anything off it. So you plant it, you leave it. Um, you only have to spray it a couple of times and then literally you leave it for the rest of its growing cycle for, for 10, 15 years, whatever it is. But again, what, what happens there is, um, actually this is on, I think it was, was it Grassman or something else? They did a whole series on, I'm sure they were called like Wilson Contracting based up in Liverpool. Uh, but they specialised in the whole miscanthus thing. So what they did was convert their class Jaguar silage or forage harvesters um, to be able to deal with this miscanthus or the elephant grass, which is quite thicker. Um, so they had to adapt the inside of the machine somehow. Uh, but yeah, uh, so the forage harvester goes through and um, cuts it but instead of coming out the you know out the chute into a trailer chopping it up it just chops it and leaves it in almost like a swath behind it so that's why you have to kind of adapt the machine to be able to do that and the, I'm sure it was the drums or something inside but um, then it's bailed up as you would do with wheat straw or something and then it's carted off to these huge great AD plants where I'm sure it's burned alongside coal um, the idea being that it prolongs the life of the coal or keeps it burning for longer, um, if I remember correctly. Or maybe they just burn it on their own. But again, you're taking out land that could be used to produce wheat, barley, um, to actually feed feed the nation, feed the world. Um, because obviously the, 
as I said before, the wild population is growing. Um, there was some stat when I was trying to apply for these unis to do agriculture, and I'm sure everyone put it down, like, um, we need to double food production by 2050 to keep up with the growing population. Um, whether or not, I don't think that's true. I thought it was true, but I'm sure I read somewhere that it was just a scientist made up a load of tosh, basically, and uh, it's not actually that true. But um, even so, you're taking land out of production that, that could be used um, to, I suppose, benefit the farm, really. Um, but it's also a case of not having your eggs all in one basket. There's a lot more variety, so if it's a bad year for, for cereals price-wise or disease-wise or something, you've got to back up because, like here, you've got the solar panels. Um, but a year like this, when it's been so so dry and so hot, these guys have been reaping in the money um, and also producing electricity, so which is more important. Um, yeah, what else? They got, I mean, things like short rotation coppice as well, um, used for biomass boilers. And I think maybe farmers in general and, and kind of landowners could use the forest to a greater extent. Obviously, a lot of them use it for, for shooting. Um, there's a massive estate up in Yorkshire called Water Priory, and they do YouTube videos as well. They've got there's three like New Holland 10. I don't know, 1090s or something. Um, rotary combines, anyway, brand new this year. So you got some serious kit. I think it's about 12,000 acres in, in total, but they have a huge shoot there and it almost kind of comes first. I um, mean, obviously they probably use the, the valleys and the woodland to the greatest potential possible. Um, but other farms that don't have shoots on the land or uh, maybe only use some of the, the woodland for the shoots, maybe there's potential to go more into biomass certainly around here in Herefordshire there's quite a lot of deliberate planting um, for, for biomass um, so I mean if I can capture that on camera at some point I don't know because they don't do it on this farm but I think they do it on the estate um, that the farm's part of so if I can find out when they do it but I'm sure you know you get in a wood chipper um, and I'm not sure where it goes but somewhere probably fairly local um, again, one of the farms I worked on, the one that had the AD plant, used the, the biomass um, to heat the, heat the borders for the chicken sheds, um, to keep the temperature up there, particularly obviously in winter and stuff. Um, just an example of kind of renewable energy, but it would just be interesting to know what, what you guys think on, on the matter, whether you think it's obviously a good idea, whether you think, you know, no, not for not for my farm or not in general. I don't think it's a good idea for the British countryside. We need to keep producing food. Um, interesting. We'll see where it goes in years to come. But um, yeah, just thought I'd kind of have a chat about it. Uh, obviously, being sat here doing the topping around the solar panels here. Um, thought of it kind of interesting topic to, to speak about. So. I don't know, I, when, I, when I was at uni, when I was in Siren System, we did the whole thing on like the dairy there that's managed by Belfort. Um, but I think it's part of the RAUs and, um, for kind of students and things like that. But they had like an AD plant and they got a huge grant initially to, to build it. Um, and I have a feeling now the government's kind of wiping out the grants or have wiped out the grants for on, on farm AD plants. So, potentially going to be less and less of those but it still seems like there's a lot of renewable energy and solar panels and you know water you know wind turbines things like that um, obviously water I'm sure I don't know what the name is but water turbines or something like that um, so yeah let me know let me know in the comments below what you think um, if you are farming or you're working on the estate let me know what the estate are doing energy wise and, and what you think about it so um yeah thanks very much for joining hope something a little bit different um maybe do more in the future of kind of discussing topics and things uh that come up maybe uh chat about farm safety and things like that because i think that's quite an important topic particularly around harvest time um 
and on farms where you get in of seasonal labour, whether that be harvest students who don't know the farms as well, or whether that be guys, um, you know, on potato graders or something like that, um, who again don't know the farm so well. So we'll have a look, we'll talk about topics uh, another time, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and see you again in another video. Cheers.